Disclaimer! Warning! I do not have a Patreon, Discord Premium, or any pay service where you are asked to pay for reactions, or whatever. If I don't mention it in my videos, then I don't have one. These links you are clicking asking for money, you're getting scammed. Avoid, avoid Will Robinson. This is your only warning. If you keep falling for these things, that's on you, bud. And now we return to whatever bit this is. All hail the Hypno Toad. What is up, Humanoid Nation? So today's video I'm reacting to is by the YouTube channel Brutal TV. They have some great stuff. So it's when average people challenge pro female fighters. Oh my God, this ain't not gonna turn out well. Oh, uh, let's see this funeral. In the let's... past, women have been given a bad rap when it comes to their fighting skills. Well, with the rise of some truly incredible fighters such as Ronda Rousey and Chris Cyborg, the perception of females being the weaker gender is slowly disappearing. Yeah. To prove how they can kick your ass. Is, in today's video, we will show you 10 fights where the man was destroyed. What the hell is that? Woman fighter. But before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way you will never miss a future upload. If people like Number your stuff, 10, they'll subscribe to you. Why? Yeah. The strangest MMA fight in history. Really? 29 pound Grigory Chistiakov stepped, or should I say rolled, into the ring. Oh, he knows the gimmick. Arena Madzuk. The whole event was organized to drum up attention and to get people talking about MMA. Something okay. that certainly did. Grigori, a blogger, entered the ring with a swagger of a champion. Okay. He's fucked. Grigori, a blogger, that's all I need to know about this guy. He talks some mad shit. But ended tapping out. His shorter opponent managed to down the giant with a punch before unleashing a series of headshots. That's how you get him. And she puts his foot on him. The disrespect. <laughs> a young female wrestler known as Emily the Showstopper on her YouTube channel. Emily was the Showstopper. Ready to okay. Take down a 15 year old green belt. At the start of their match, both fighters seemed to get the upper hand on the other at times, but it was Emily who eventually managed to dominate her opponent, forcing him to go on the defensive. Unfortunately for the poor guy, Emily managed to pull off a triangle lock that led to the referee triangle choke, okay, in her favor. Number 8. Hold favorite. on, is this in a high school somewhere? Did he say high school? Looks like a high school gym slash cafeteria. Ha! Huh. Number eight. Four YouTubers decided to take on a... Okay, this is gonna go bad. You just said the word four YouTubers. They talk some mad shit. This is gonna go crazy. Professional MMA fighter Misha Tate. For Here, a video that certainly entertained their viewers. And... Oh. Four regular Joes challenge Misha fucking Tate. Oh, let's get this. Uh, uh, let's see how this murder goes down. Embarrass the content creators. One by one, Misha grappled, tossed, and choked each of the guys with very little effort. Hey, that's how you do it. All the way through, you can see that Misha is enjoying watching the men squirm. Oh, yeah, she would enjoy that. Out. One even resorts to running around the ring, a strategy that prevented him from getting beaten up. What an asshole. didn't win him the fight. Number seven. Sports hosts are the first to criticize fighters on their technique. But what happens when one steps in the ring with a professional female boxer? Well, one man who learned the answer to that question was Alex Monaco, who found out very quickly. He looks like an asshole. A small fish in a very big shark tank. What didn't help Alex was the fact that he had never boxed before, 
whereas Danielle Wolf was a female boxing champion. Why would you challenge to a boxing match if you never were boxed before? God US damn it, man. Team. It is obvious that Danielle didn't want to hurt Alex. Hurt him. Back kill him. And Pummel him. And uppercut him. <laughs> Eventually, the fun and games ended with a powerful shot that knocked Alex out cold. Now go Number home, Alex. Six. This guy holding a flower must have somehow thought he was going on a date rather than a kickboxing match. Unfortunately, the romance was cut short when his female opponent began landing kick after kick. Yeah, before she going in him down with two punches. He going he didn't in. Fair much better in the next round when his awful defense meant she could repeatedly punch him in the face. The rest of the fight saw the guy take hit after hit before the bell rang. Ha! <laughs> he didn't get the one guy hit was in. Out humiliated after the fight. Maybe next time he should suggest dinner and a movie. Or just go away when they say no. Number five. Take the rejection like a man. Not scared to go full force on his female MMA fighter. This guy went straight for a quick hole. Unfortunately for him, his opponent had the flexibility and the speed to quickly slip out of it and turn the tides on him. On multiple occasions, you can see the guy's strength is a huge benefit, especially when he lifted the woman up and slammed her to the ground. God Although damn! it looked like a painful fall, the female fighter only tightens up her hold and chokes the guy into yeah. submission. Number four. This female MMA fighter waited for In the very cage. best moment to strike back. Wait, never mind. Opponent, I'm stupid. Back into the wall of the cage. I forget. Luckily, UFC is in a cage. In I'm a dumbass. Time to recover before continuing. It's clear that the guy underestimated the power of the female fighter, and even turns to his coach for guidance after coach, losing control. Coach, coach, so I need help, coach. You're on your own, bruh. Number three. This guy seemed to have an iron grip on his female opponent. That is until she managed to land a number of punches to his head and face that weakened his hold and allowed the female fighter to shift around and get on top of it. Once she was in the perfect position, she rained down a floor. Murder! That the wind. Murder! It seems that this fighter doesn't take embarrassment well as he tried to attack the woman really? after the fight had ended. Cheap. A cheap. foolish move for someone who was just beaten up by it. That's a cheap move to get her after the match is over. Number two. An internet troll tried to put his money where his digital money you know this ain't going to go bad. This is going to go bad. An internet troll. Huh? Okay, okay. Mouth was when he agreed to spar with Tara La Rosa. Although he gives it his all, he quickly loses his stamina, allowing Tara to maneuver him into an arm lock that murder. Give up. <laughs> the internet troll might be wearing a Harley Quinn t-shirt, but it's Tara who's the Joker. Mocking the exhausted guy lying yeah, flat man. on the mat. That's what you get. Number one. Once Ronda, again, Rousey. Ronda Rousey step into the ring with someone who thinks that their years of reporting on fights will somehow give them the edge over a person. Years of reporting is nothing, my case, guy. It was Aaron True who threw down the chair. He looks like an asshole. Regretted it. Before the fight, True told Rousey how he thought being a male would ensure an easy win against the professional. I've got to be honest. I don't think you have as much strength and can compete with a man, even though I'm a white belt. This clearly fired up the MMA fighter, who flipped True Murder. on his back, breaking four ribs, squashing his balls, and destroying <laughs> his ego. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Like all the others you saw in this video, maybe next time True will think twice about judging a fighter on their gender. And that concludes our video on 10 guys who got owned in the ring by women fighters. Okay, that was a pretty good video. I don't, it's like as soon as you hear that it's an internet troll or some blogger, you know some murder is about to go down. Ah, come on. 
Oh, yeah, I know they want to do it for their content on YouTube. You got to get them views, get them subscribers, get that ad revenue. But fuck, getting your ads beaten for that? Sure, why not? Do you do you. If you want to, like, break bones and be made to look foolish, go go ahead. I don't know what else to say to that. It was, that's it for now, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid Freak Out. Bye. Pasito a pasito, suave suavecito, nos vamos.